The catastrophes described in ancient sources were traumatic experiences common to all mankind. Purged from conscious memory, these records are now interpreted as allegories, metaphors, and the trauma has been submerged in the unconscious. Collective amnesia. A revolutionary theory of the universe based on the records of the past has challenged the fundamental beliefs of modern science for more than two decades. Today, the unexpected findings of space explorations have confirmed many of the predictions of this theory. Mountains were born and mountains collapsed. Land and sea changed places. Great streams of lava flowed. The sea boiled and evaporated. Such were the scenes of unimaginable violence during the times of global catastrophe, as recorded by the ancients. Here in the New York Herald Tribune, uh, explosion in science, the artist's conception of what, uh, of what happened when the uh, uh, heavens burst. Um, what happened uh, during the 1500 B.C. Uh, upheaval, which uh, we read about in the Bible as the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt, and the uh, phenomena or upheaval that, uh, that accompanied that. And this is the artist's conception of what happened in Palestine and Mexico and China. Lightning meteorites being rained down as the comet's head came closer to the earth, uh, followed by floods. Same in Mexico where water swept over the entire land, great gigantic tides. There were repeated changes in the earth's orbit in the lengths of day, the seasons, and the year. In these catastrophes, entire species of animals were annihilated. Others proliferated from wholesale mutations. Mankind was decimated. Civilizations destroyed. One of the most interesting cases that, uh, are these uh, mammoths that are frozen in the uh, Yukon or in Alaska, frozen in the muck and the gravel of uh, that area that uh, still have food in their mouths. Uh, the flesh uh, is has been preserved in the uh, in the ice so that actually when they were dug out when they were digging for gold uh, they could actually feed the uh, the flesh of these animals to to sledge dogs whatever happened uh, happened suddenly as for example the tilting of the axis of the earth and uh, freezing them right there uh, where, where they were found why did the ancients uh, worship uh, stars or planets that uh, the average person can't pick out of the sky today and yet uh, all of our uh, ancient heritage that comes to us in terms of architecture, uh, writing, and so on, they're, they're actually obsessed with, uh, with the idea of worshiping these stars, these dreaded planets. Uh, all mankind uh, through the years have uh, uh, worshipped uh, stars that we can't even pick out of the sky today. Now why? Why were they so obsessed with them? Unless in some way uh, these stars uh, were threats to them, uh, in some way impressed themselves upon uh, ancient man. A book like Old Testament is read maybe more than any other book through the centuries. It's translated to all languages. And you read there about sea and land changing places, about mountain moving into the sea, mountain being overturned, mountain melting like wax. And you think that this is metaphors. 